sometimes all you have is a list of companies to reach out to. You don't have prospects, you don't have names, you don't have email addresses. If you have the website URL, Apollo is really good at getting all those other things. So you can actually start doing outreach at scale. We're going to show you how in a very quick tutorial. First thing is in this tab on companies, not people, but companies. It's a little bit of a gotcha you have to get used to in Apollo, but that's where you want to be. And then you're going to go over to the import button. You're going to import a CSV. You'll get an error if it's an Excel file, so make sure you convert to a CSV. And here's our list, conference list CSV. All this list is, is just a bunch of URLs. We've got 37 on this list. You could have hundreds. And we got this from a conference that we're going to go to. So as that thinks in the background, you'll see here's our websites. We're going to use the default stages in Apollo. You can get super fancy, but no need. The one thing we recommend, though, is do make a list. It'll keep your, your companies and your contacts organized. So we're just going to call this conference. And then we're going to import. So Apollo comes back with a list of the 36 companies that we imported. So maybe one got dropped. That's OK. And it's pretty cool because we can look by number of employees. Uh, we can look at industries. All kinds of ways to slice and dice these companies if you want to eliminate some of them. But let's just assume we want to keep them all. So they're all on that list called conference. Now we want to navigate to people. We can remove the filters. And I'm going to target sales execs. So there's a thing called persona in Apollo. We can make another video about that. You can go by title. You can go by all kinds of stuff. But persona is what we use, which has multiple criteria. You can go by multiple titles, geographies. We've created this one called sales execs. So we're only looking at sales execs at these companies. We'll go to list view now. And we're going to overlay that company list. And again, it's people and companies. That's how Apollo is organized. So the company list is conference. And it's going to show us all the people that work at those 36 companies that meet our persona of sales execs, the proper titles, the proper seniority, the proper geographic locations. So it comes back with these seven people at those companies. I think we have a filter on. It seems a little low. Let's turn off that filter, see if we get a little higher. I see we already have 24 saved. So a total of 31 people, which is great. We'll click on that. And now what we're going to do is we want to add those 31 people to a sequence. A sequence is just a series of emails. Uh, you can use AI to write them. Don't recommend that. Make them good. But you can't put dynamic parameters in there so that it's personalized. First name, company name, uh, even the technologies they use. We're going to select this page. Uh, you can select everybody. So if you had hundreds at once, you select all. It does cost a little bit more for the Apollo uh, package that charges, but well worth it if you're dealing with big numbers. Just as an illustrative example, let's add these 25 to a sequence. So I'm going to add to an existing sequence that I've already set up. It's just a really simple one. It's an email, uh, and then it's a follow-up one a few days later. We always go verified emails. It's not worth the reputational risk to your domain to go uh, where the email is missing or even unverified in our opinion. We hit next. And the sequence we want is conference. It's going to come from my mailbox. I can assign a different owner to it. I can ask for the mobile numbers if we have a, uh, a you know, BDR that's going to follow up by phone. And we can export it as a CSV if that's part of our process. It's not today, so we save. I'm going to close that. And now those contacts got added to the sequence. We can put a delay on it, but essentially, as soon as we add them, those emails are going to go out. And I'll show you an example of what that sequence looks like. Right here under Sequences, we have the ones we've set up. conference. Now this is deliberately on inactive. You obviously would want to have it activated if you were doing a real, um, a real send. So day one, this is the one that goes out as soon as I add someone to the list. 
and you can see I've got dynamic parameters here. Hi, contact name. I saw that account name will be at the office of conference in Orlando coming up because that's where all conferences are, blah, 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 blah. You can see over on the right side what it actually would look like if we inserted a company name and a person's name. And then the subject line too, I also put the account name. It helps open rates, but lots of ways you can experiment with that. We're going to cancel. And then I'll quickly show you on day four, another email comes out. And we've got an A-B test going here. It's really to test the subject line. Is it better to reply to that last email? Just say, hey, check it in. Or is it better to write an entire new subject line, which gets the higher open rate? We try to keep those A-B tests single variable. So we're not testing a bunch of new content, a bunch of subject lines. And then once we have one variable optimized, we go to the next variable. Uh, so that is just a quick tutorial on how you can use URLs to find your prospect list on Apollo.